Hey, Robert Davis back with you. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, take you through a tutorial on how to implement a T timer component in your programs. Uh, this can be useful for a lot of cases. Uh, you might want to create a stopwatch application. Or you might want to use the T timer in the application to uh, fire an event or events from other components. Uh, it can really help out your application, simplify things. Um, Autosave is a good example of um, a T timer component in your program that fires every say five minutes and auto saves for instance a database application auto saves whatever record edit that you're doing anyway let's look at this real quick this is a single single form application and here you see the form, and this is a label. It doesn't have anything in the caption. This is a start button. It starts the timer object, sets it enabled equals true. Stop disables the timer. Sets the enabled equals false. And resume, resumes the timer from where it left off. And here's a time where you see it's a very simple component. It defaults to being off. Enabled equals false. This is the interval. It has a really easy granularity. You can go from real short to real long. Whatever you need. Uh, I stuck with the standard naming conventions to prevent any ambiguity. And then here's the only event that the timer fires of itself is timer one timer or on timer. And that's the money maker. It's very powerful. Anyway, um, let's just run this and see how it works. Okay, here we have our little program. T timer component in action. <laughs> if we press the start button, you'll see the label gets updated with a bar space um, indicating every second that goes by. And if you click the stop button, it stops the timer, sets enabled to false. And if you press the resume button, it picks up from where it left off, updating the label constantly, every second. So we'll stop that. What happens when we start? It starts over. That can be useful. We'll stop it. Resume again. And stop now it might be nice I'm not going to cover it in this uh, tutorial but it might be nice to uh, add maybe a, a little click sound every time the timer fires also I'm still working on the, the uh, code for that so let's look at the code behind now you'll see it's very simple the, uh, here's your form, the timer, label, button, one through three, and the events that fire, the procedures, uh, on click and on timer. And here we go. Let's look at the timer uh, event. This updates the label caption to bar space. 
so it doesn't, it's not all scrunched together. Um, it's just a simple way to indicate that the timer's working in the program. Okay, and then uh, we have button one click, which enables the timer and updates the label with a bar space. And then the button two click just simply disables the timer. It doesn't clear anything. It doesn't do anything else. It simply disables the timer, turns it off. Then the button three click, the timer is re-enabled and the label caption is updated with a bar click. So let's just see how that works again. Start. Stop. Resume. Stop. Start. And that's really all there is to it. You can see how this may be useful in your programs, your Delphi programs, um, to fire events in other components in your program. It's really a handy little item. Again, the granularity of the interval is whatever you like. Anything above zero, I believe. Um, and this could be very cool for an autosave action. And you can set that interval to whatever you need. One minute, three minutes, five minutes, whatever. Say to update the, uh, update the database by updating the record at that point so you don't lose any information and uh, can be real useful to you so there you have it it's not difficult at all the code is very simple I, I don't think I've ever done a simpler little program and uh, it's nothing real special, but it can be if you use it in your programs. So anyway, um, I thank you for being here. And I'm Robert Davis again, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.